Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to create controller in prefix folder. We have created our users controller in admin folder. And then we have also created template in our admin users folder. And we created this using cacback command. So now in this tutorial, we will create a simple login using an auth component. So let's start. So first, to load auth component, we have to go in controller and there is a folder called admin. That means this, this is our prefix folder, admin. And here I have to go in appcontroller.php. And here you can see we already uh, Two, com two component loaded. This is actually done by CAC PHP. Request handler and flash. These two component already loaded. I'm just going to copy this line and paste it in here and giving here auth. After giving the auth, that means auth component has loaded. Now save and go in browser, then load your page. You will see missing method in users controller. So here they have uh, given this error that create users controller login in file and they have given a location that means we have to create a login in our users controller so i'm just going to admin folder and there is a folder called file called users controller and giving here the public function login in here so after save if you go and reload your, your browser you will see that missing template uh, error. So we have to create a login.php in folder users and it's uh, in admin route folder. So I'm going in my admin route folder, folder in template. So this is the template folder and here is the admin folder. And in this admin folder, there is a folder called users. And here I'm creating a folder called login.php. The same if you go and reload your browser, then you will see that CAC PHP and you are not authorized to access that location. This flash message. Um, so, this login.php, we do not need to log um, login information to access this space. So, I'm just going to allow this space. So, I'm going here and giving here this auth allow method there is a method in auth component called or allow and in this allow method i'm giving the uh, giving the login method name this is the parameter i'm passing after save if you go and reload your page you will not see this flash message so now we have to create a login from so for that i'm going in login.php and here i'm using the from helper to create our from so I'm starting the PHP tag and going here, writing this uh, from create and copy this line, paste it in here and going to finish this from in here. So after save, if you go and reload your page, you'll see nothing in here. But if, if you go in your inspector in element and here in your main and there is a content and you can see this from has been created in here this is the from started in method post and this is the from has finished in here so now we will create two field in here so for that i'm giving here this uh, from there is a method called control and in this control i'm giving the name of my um, field name and the name will be username and I'm giving here the password and next thing that we have to do we have to create a submit uh, from submit button we need a submit button so I am here giving this from submit and then after save if you go and delete your browser you will see a username password and a submit button in here so now you when you will send this username and password it will be received in users login method 
so we have to write some code in here so i will accept only post method in here so i am just typing if uh, this request is post there is a method called is and if this method is if this request is post method then we will check this uh, users so to check uh, in auth component there is a uh, set user method so uh, sorry there is a identify uh, method so i have to just write here this auth and identify and this identify uh, when you write this that means uh, if you send this username and password if this is it's true uh, it will check that it, it will be true it, it is true or false so if it is true then we will we can write that if it is true then set this user in session so we can write like this this auth and there is a method in auth component called set user so when we will set is, is your user then it will be set in your um, session so you can also check it using debug in here like debug and if you want to see that it is true or false like that, this and if you send some information from here we have no any users and password in our database we have uh, a user and password but it is not uh, has for username and password so we are not able to see now but you can you are able to see the user, user information after if you give this debug then you will you are able to see this so i will see it later now i am just uh, set this user and then we will return this return this re redirect user uh, in a controller for example after login success we will redirect user in in users controller so i'm just giving here this redirect method and there is i'm sending the controller name example i want to send user in users controller and i want to send user in action called index then else if uh, it's false then uh, we will we will send a flash message we will set a flash method flash a flash message so there is a component we already loaded the flash component uh, this is the flash component that has loaded already uh, when you will install cac php by default cac php given this line so i am just using this flash method so giving this this uh, flash arrow so flash has a method call error so if you are giving here any error message it will be flash so i'm giving here incorrect username or password like this so now let's check go in here reload your page give here the username example a b c d and giving a password now submit you will see the incorrect username and password so here you can see that uh, in our uh, let's allow our uh i have allow only login let's allow index method to giving here the index so now go in users index so now i able to go so you can see this password is not hashed actually so we have to make this password has ha hash password to log in our users so create this let create this password hash so for creating this hash, pa hash password, we, I am going in auth component documentation and in right side, uh, uh, there is an option called hashing password. I'm going in this option. So you can see that uh, they have used the 
default default password hasher we, we will use this so i'm going in model and in this model there is an entity and in this entity folder there is a file called users.php so i'm now in here so here i have to use this password hasher in here so after I use this default password class then i can use this now so they have already mentioned that we have to just give this uh, use this function i'm just copy and paste this function in here I given this documentation under my video description so you can go in here and just copy and paste this uh, option so now we have to create a new user to log in our system so i'm going to uh, in our app controller and removing this index to add temporarily i want to access our add method So going to give a name call p2cms and giving a password one two three four five six then after submit oh sorry I'm I have to go in add page so this is the add page so here I'm giving a username and giving a email and giving a password and after submit already submitted in our database uh, so now i am going to remove this add to index and save go here giving here the index let's see so you can see that password has has saved in our data in our uh, database table so now if i just remove this index also going to remove this index then after save go and reload so now we are not able to access this page so what we will do now we will give the username p2cms now and the password then after submit so we are now accessing in our uh, users uh, index page so we need to create a logout uh, method because uh, we we can log in but we are still not able to log out so this is very simple we have to go in our users controller and i'm just giving here a creating here a login method public function logout and just giving uh, return this redirect and cac php uh, auth component has a method called logout so you have to just give this logout method use this logout method so you for logout you have to just redirect the user in this logout method so after say uh, if you go and now if you just type here the users and logout then you are going uh, logout is missing let's see again public function logout so it is in users and logout okay okay because i'm not in admin route so i have to made in admin and then users and logout so now you are seeing that it's going to redirect in your admin logout. Uh, okay, this is actually a method. So we have to, I'm, I have just missed this uh, bracket. So after save, now it should work. Okay, so it's working fine now. So check again. I'm going to give this p2cms username and giving this password, then submit. It's going in here. So now if we just giving the uh, users and the logout, it's working fine now. 
so so i have told that uh, we are able to see the user information in here so let's uh, open this debug this errors and exit so now go in here after give this one two three four five six then hit on enter so you can see you are able to see the user's information in here so we are actually set this user information in our uh, this in our in our session using this set users so i'm just removing this again save go here reload our page so not ever we are able to go in here so you have to just create a link in here uh, I'm just keep going for logout. So I'm going in my uh, template that means in, in, um, in my layout and there is in my default layout. So this is you are seeing this uh, two documentation and API, this two link you are seeing in here. I'm just creating a new uh, link in here using the CAC PHP uh, build URL. This uh, Build. Sorry, this URL build. And going here, giving the you giving the name of your controller. Controller that I am giving here, I call. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I, I, I missed the anchor tag in here or I can use the this uh, HTML link HTML has also a class called HTML link so you can use also this HTML link. and name of my link that is logout and you can use this controller name in here that is users and your action can be log out. So after save, so if you go and reload your page, you are seeing this log out option now in here. So after click on here, we are going in login page. So if you go and give the wrong information in here, like this and submit, you will see the incorrect username and password. So if you if you go uh, and give the correct information, so after save, we are able to go in here and we can also log out our page. So this is our admin panel. We are also able to go in our front end and if you go again in admin and log out your page, you are not access to go any page like user add, edit or index but you are able to go in your front end like this. So, so this is a very simple way to uh, create a login using all component in CAC PHP, but uh, there, are a very, there, has, uh, there, there is a bad news and this news is uh, CAC PHP all component actually deprecated, deprecated in version four. So, don't worry it is still working and still they have no given any uh, given any error message or any deprecation in here so if you go and see that there is no any deprecation notice that you have used dot component but however we will create uh, our auth component our login using cac php authorization plugin in next tutorial so let's see the next tutorial we will create our uh, login using authorization plugin welcome for the next